Hello, YouTube. Uh, it's me, the boy. Um, back with more Persona 3 Feds. Um, yeah, we're just gonna keep going. I'd like each of you to remember the proverb, If a job's <laughs> worth doing, it's worth doing well. <laughs> just goes like, Ah, oh, there's that line of cocaine I left on the desk. Ah, oh, gotta get that little bit right up the nose, <laughs> right up the no <laughs> the nasal passage. <laughs> um, but yes, um, I'm back with this. Um, I uploaded the first part the day I'm recording this, so I hope it do it, do it does well. And it doesn't do bad because I'm worried it will, but it's fine. When applied to student life, this means... This means you must apply yourself. Principal continues as a speech. Psst. Hey. Dude, look at me. <laughs> look at... Look, <laughs> look at... Dude, I wonder which one is the anime protagonist. Can you tell, children? Did you guess the only blue-haired person in the in the screen? In the in the in the image in front of you? Congratulations! You came to school with Yukari this morning, right? I saw you two walking together. Hey, I have a question. Do you know if she has a boyfriend? I don't know. I see. I thought you might know, but I guess not. So how well do you know her? <laughs> dude, my dude, my dude is slipping into those DMs all nice and casual like. I hear talking. <laughs> I hear talking. I believe it's someone in Ms. Toriyumi's class. Shh, be quiet. You're going to get me in trouble. There are lots of people talking. <laughs> I do like the music of this game. Sup, dude. <laughs> Sup. How's it going? <laughs> How's it going? Who are you? Me? I'm Junpei Iori. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Junpei Iori. I transferred here when I was in eighth grade. Dude, every time I hear Junpei, I just think of Zero Escape. Because the main character of the first game is named Junpei. I know how tough it is being the new kid. So I wanted to say, hey, <laughs> see what a nice guy I am? Oh no, he's nice guy syndrome. Oh god. <laughs> he's, he's, the, he's the classic nice guy. Hey, it's Yucatan. I didn't think we'd be in the same class again. <laughs> At it again, huh? I swear you'll talk to anyone if they'll listen. <laughs> he wants talk to he wants talk to the wall. <laughs> Did you ever think you might be bothering someone? What? <laughs> but I was just being friendly. <laughs> I'm a friendly stranger. If you say so. Anyway, it looks like we're in the same homeroom. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's just a coincidence. It must be fate. <laughs> to say that. Fate? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Still, I'm a little surprised. Um, hello? Are you forgetting that I'm in this class too? <laughs> My god, that face. By the way, I heard you two came to school together this morning. Yes, yeah, so we're sexing all over the place. You figured it out. <laughs> What's up with that? Come on, give me the dirt. What are you talking about? We live in the same dorm. There's nothing going on, okay? Why are people even talking about it? Now you have me worried. Hey. You didn't say anything to anyone about, you know what, did you? <laughs> I told everyone! <laughs> I told everyone you pulled a gun on me! <laughs> they all know! <laughs> 
<laughs> just like a crap, just like a, like a well, police officer just walk in, ma'am, you're under arrest. Okay, good. Seriously, don't say anything about last night, all right? <laughs> she, she really did say that super loud. What? L last night. <laughs> oh. Who, who was on top? W wait a minute! <laughs> Don't get the wrong idea! <laughs> I need to stop. Listen! I just met him yesterday, and there's absolutely nothing between us. Jeez. Fair. I've gotta go. I've got something to take care of for the archery team. But you better not start any rumors. Ah, who cares? No one takes rumors seriously anyway. She's so paranoid. Alright. But hey, it's your first day here and people are already talking about you. Yep. Believe it or not, she's actually pretty popular. You the man. You the man. We, we, we the man. <laughs> this is gonna be a fun year. I can feel it. I don't like that face. <laughs> I to go home with Junpei. Digital spring sunlight is warm. Dude, I can't wait to play Persona 5 when that comes out. That comes out the sign and sheet on the counter. See if you gave it the sign and sheet. Welcome back. Yeah. Okay, so this is what they say. So basically here, what do you do? You can save the game. What do you mean? What do you mean there's no memory card? Um, what do you mean? Hold on. Sorry if the music lags. I'm trying to fix this. Memory cards? Um... Okay, that's weird. Why is the memory card not there? Okay. So there should be a memory card there. There we go. That was weird. Because we got 16 save files. That was weird. Okay. We're in the dorm room. It doesn't seem to be used. Now, I will say for a PS2 game, this game looks really good for a PS2 game. Like... Like, this game looks like... What? Oh, hi. You shouldn't be outside on your own at night. It's too dangerous. Anyway, you must be tired. You should get a good night and rest. Can I leave? Yep. Can't let you go out after dark. Sorry, but rules are rules. TV. This trend just really spread all over town. Our next story is about the cherry blossoms. It's springtime and they're all over town now. The blossoms this year were a little blank compared to other years, but they'll be at the peak this week. News is on. Oh, okay. I didn't know I could turn on this TV. That's cool. Oh, hi, what are you doing? So I'm just looking around. What are you doing? It's killing time doing nothing. You're probably pretty tired out. Maybe you should go to bed early tonight. Can I go back here? No. Back door is locked. restroom. Can't press any buttons. Okay. I'm going upstairs. No, she didn't buy something to drink. I will not buy anything. So dance, 
I'm gonna sleep in a dusty bed. Dude, I'm kinda nervous. Tomorrow I got an interview for a job. And I am nervous. I hope I get it. Can you go back to your room now? Yeah, sure. I feel tired. You should get some rest. I'm going out for a bit. Confident looking student. Hmm? Didn't you see the newspaper? There's a lot going on. I know. People who had no problems before are suddenly developing acute cases of apathy syndrome. Apathy syndrome. I've seen it in the news quite often lately. It's me. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm not apathetic. They say it's due to stress, but. Yeah, right. It has to be them. Them. Otherwise, it's not worth my time. You have a one-track mind. Will you be okay on your own? The chairman will be here for the next few days, but after that, I can... Don't worry. I'm just getting a little practice. Bye. <laughs> this isn't a game, Akihiko. Hey, bro, hey. You overhear a conversation. Did you hear the rumor? Oh, um, something about a bathroom? N no, not that one. I mean, the story about the first year student. Not only did she stop coming to school, she does nothing but sit and stare at the walls all day. If her mother tries to talk to her, she only mutters to herself, It's coming, it's coming. Huh, how about that? You don't believe me? First bell was wrong. Booty Tech's supposed to take a look at the first novel by Zenzo Kas Kasai. Uh, why him? Rather teach Utsubo Kiboda. He became famous as a singer, but he's also produced fine literature. No, I saw in the textbook. Well, I'll just bring Kiboda's book next time. Hey, Junpei, were you listening? What did I say was my favorite author? Uh, um, pst, who does she like? You just said it. It's Utsubo Kib Kiboda. That's right, so you were listening to me after all. Eh, <laughs> well, you know how I like to pay attention. Can you see my bacon, Milo? Hear your classmates whispering. I'll give him the answer. He must pay attention in class! Holy shit! He pays attention! Damn! Hot diggity dog! <laughs> Became slightly more popular. Charm is increased. So, what is said there right there where my charm increases? Um, you basically have three major stats. You have courage, charm, and academics. Um, and raising all three is essential. So I ended for the day, you decided to go back to the dorms. Wow, duck burger. Jamal's lively in the evening. So, this is our new guest. Sophisticated gentleman. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Shuji Ikutsuki. I'm the chairman of the board for your school. Shuji Ikutsuki, okay. Ikutsuki. <laughs> Hard to say, isn't it? So he's the chairman. That's why I don't like introducing myself. Even I get tongue-tied sometimes. Sh Shuji Ikutsuki. That doesn't sound that, that doesn't, that's not that hard to pronounce. Please, have a seat. I've heard, I've seen harder things. I apologize about the confusion regarding your accommodations. I am insulted and offended and beyond belief I'm suing the school. However, it may take a while longer before you receive the proper room assignment. 
Is there anything you'd like to ask? Why are you else? Why are you here? To welcome you, of course. Well, to be honest, I do have other business here. Speaking of which, where's Mitsuru, Yukari? She's upstairs. As diligent as always. Although it doesn't hurt to come down and say hello. Looks like he has like a cut. He has like a scar on his forehead. Like, like right here. It's like a scar on it. Is there anything else? There were only four students in this dorm. You, Yukari here, Mitsuru, and a senior named Akihiko Sanada. <laughs> Akihiko Sanuda. I hope you all get along. I won't. Any other questions? I'm going to start every fight. You saw something strange. Like what? <laughs> she pulled a gun on me. <laughs> You were probably just tired. I wouldn't worry about it. She pulled a gun on me. Something doesn't seem right. Do you have another question? Really now? I gave it away. Then, I hope you have a successful school year. Now, if you'll excuse me. You must be tired from all the excitement. You should go to bed early. Never. As they say, the early bird catches the bookworm. Please forgive the pun. <laughs> that was terrible. I didn't even get. I didn't even realize it was a pun. Puns are zero, third rate. <laughs> you're a third. You're a third rate punist with fourth rate puns. <laughs> You'll get used to his lame jokes. <laughs> you're a third rate duelist with a fourth rate deck. Working hard? So, how's he doing? How's he doing? He went to bed a little while ago. He's asleep now. Mr. Chairman, do you think he's... Well, let's wait and see for now. The dark hour is approaching. The dark hour. Ooh, spooky. Totally. The preceding program was brought to you by Carijo Electronics, bringing you the future. And the sound of the tone, the time will be 12 o'clock a.m. Everything's fine! It's just blood and coffins! And, uh, this is actually pretty freaky. Uh, 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 uh. Hmm. He's still sleeping. That'd be really the freaky. dark hour occurs every day at 12 midnight. You could say it's the hidden hour. During this time, an ordinary person transmogrifies into a coffin and is oblivious to all that occurs. Then he must be. You only get an hour, okay. As you can see, he's retained his human form. I don't quite know why he's explaining this to them, but this is more like a player thing. It's it's weird. It doesn't really make much sense that he's explaining it to people he probably already explained it to. He's asleep, but he's definitely experiencing the dark hour. The only question that remains is whether or not he has the potential. Unless he just never explained it to either Mitsuru or Yukari. 
Oh, wait, he might not have explained it to Yukari, because Yukari joins, like, the day before we do, right? We show up, technically, in the story, I think. Although, he must. If he didn't, they would have preyed on him by now. Scary. In any case, we should continue to monitor him for a few more days. Yes, sir. I feel kind of bad, though, spying on him like this. Oh, another cutscene. to the velvet room, my dear young man. It's Mr. Nosy. <laughs> Man's got a big schnoz. My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. Now, I believe the voice actor for Igor actually died before the fifth game came out. Like the I don't know I don't remember if it was the English or the Japanese I think it was the English voice actor for Igor, but yeah, it's just a fact I know. This is Elizabeth. She's a resident here, like myself. Look at this man. He's like a he's like an elf, but he's got like the law. He's like he's got like a Pinocchio nose, and he's got like elf ears, and he's got the eyeballs of a fuck of a fucking psychopath who's murdered several children. <laughs> man does not man needs some eye drops. Good lord. Pleased to meet you. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It's been years since we've had a guest. It's been decades! <laughs> it's the document you signed at the dorm. Only those who have signed the contract can enter this place. Henceforth, you shall be welcome here in the Velvet Room. <laughs> the Velvet Room? You are destined to hone your unique ability, and you will require my help to do so. I only ask one thing in return. That you abide by the contract, and assume responsibility for the choices you make. But, but, I, I, don't, I don't like assuming responsibility. That's gross. I understand, I don't understand. Is this a dream? I don't get it. That is fine for now. Hold on to this. Obtain the velvet key. Till we meet again. <laughs> He's just dead. What's of April? The 9th of April. Full moon. Feels like you had a strange dream. However, it's time to go to school. Rainbows. What's up, man? Today is the perfect day. Uh, I'm gonna check how long I've been recording. Should I end it here? I'm gonna keep it going for a bit longer. I'm gonna see if I can save. This guy's blue, we're young. What more could we ask for? You're full of energy. Of course, dude, listen to this. Oh wait, I'm not supposed to say anything. Sorry, man. <laughs> yuck, yuck, yuck. Morning. I'm a Mr. Okoda. I'll be teaching you classic literature. I'll be teaching you about good old Japan all year. Some people say classic literature isn't relevant to everyday life, but oh, wow, they're wrong. The students, the other teachers, wrong, wrong, wrong. Nobody really understands classic lit. You feel tired. Close your eyes for a few minutes. Stay awake. 
Hey, you all listening to me? Wake up, children. Now open your textbooks. First in our syllabus is Ize Monogatari, the origin of Japanese literature. It's a very interesting story. You youngsters might call it the bomb. <sighs> I can tell you people are zoning out. Stay up and listen to the lecture. The academics has increased. I need to go home with Junpei. <sighs> Kitty! The station is bustling with students on their way home. Oh, okay. I thought I would get to save beforehand. How is he? The same as last night. Hmm, very interesting. Even those who have the potential tend to be unstable at first. Hmm. Memory loss, disorientation. But this subject is rather unique. He hasn't exhibited any of the common symptoms. Weird. But we're treating him like a guinea pig. It's almost like I'm the main character. <laughs> I understand your concern, but it's imperative that we recruit new members. I heard he's your classmate. Wouldn't you be more comfortable working with someone from the same grade? Yeah, I guess. But still. Mm. Command room. Is that you, Akihiko? You're not gonna believe this. This thing is huge. That's like the calm sound from another SMT game. I remember that. Unfortunately, I don't have time to talk. It's chasing me. I wanted to let you guys know. I'm almost there. <laughs> Does that mean he's bringing that thing here? <laughs> that is a genuine reaction. The wrestler looks like, what the fuck? <laughs> Mr. Chairman. Let's suspend our observation for now. We'll prepare for battle. All right. Be careful. All right. Akihiko. <laughs> now. Senpai. I'm all right. Get ready to be surprised. It'll be here any second. Oh, goody. This is no time to joke around. It's one of them, Akihiko? Yes, but not an ordinary one. Uh, oh, jeez. What the? You've got to be kidding me. Mr. Chairman, please head for the command room. Takeda, go upstairs and wake him up. Then escape out the back. But what about you two? Oh, yeah. We'll stop it here. You let it to us, Akihiko, so I'm afraid you'll have to fight. <laughs> I have two! I have three broken bones! Like I had a choice. What are you waiting for, Yukari? Like go! I'm going! You're awoken by a loud noise. You hear a commotion down the hall. You decide to go take a look. Wake up! Sorry, I'm coming in! Ha wait, how'd you open my door? <laughs> I don't have time to explain. We have to get out of here now! Wait, wait, but I thought I locked that. Oh. <laughs> What's going on? Oh. Yeah. Hurry! Okay. Wait. Take this, just in case. Kari handed you a short sword. Okay, let's go. 
You, you just had a short sword on you? Okay. Alright, we should be safe now. Alright. Takiba, do you read me? <laughs> yes, I hear you. Be careful, there's more than one enemy. The one we're fighting isn't the one Akihiko saw. What? Oh, that's not good. Uh, let's pull back. What are you going to do? They're downstairs. Do we have any choice but to go further up? Whoa, whoa. What are we going to do? Alright, I am going to end this part here, um, because it's been going on for half an hour and I want to stop it right before. So sorry, it's going to end in a cliffhanger, but uh, next time we'll escape from the run from the big thingy attacking us. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys have a good one, and peace!